Fiber to Fabric Part 2 Learning Objectives To learn about the types of animal fibers To learn about the life cycle of a silkworm Hello friends, isn't it so cold? You should also wear something warm. Oh, I'm sure you all know which animal's hair is used to make woolen clothes. Do you know which is the softest and shiniest fabric? Correct, silk. Do you know that silk is also an animal fabric? Let us look for these answers through the help of this video. Rina and Maya had gone to visit their grandmother's house in their holidays. Let us go and see what are both of them doing. Maya was a voracious reader and Rina used to like to explore nature. Look, Rina is looking at something in those trees. What is this? Looks like these are the caterpillars of the butterfly. Let me ask Didi. Probably she would know. Didi, Maya Didi, please come here. What happened, Rina? Look, Didi, there are so many caterpillars here. These are mulberry trees, Rina. Look carefully. Last year when I visited Grandma, even I was very confused. But then Grandma told me that these are mulberry trees and silkworm stays on these trees only. Silkworms? Oh, I think like the silk cloth, these worms would also be soft and shiny. The silkworm makes the silk thread like we get wool from the hair of sheep. Similarly, we get silk thread from these worms. Look there, you can also see the mulberries on it. Rina looks around and goes and plucks a few mulberries. Friends, have you ever seen mulberry trees? Yes, you are right, Didi. Grandma had mentioned that the silkworms only eat the leaves of mulberry trees. That is the reason they stay on these trees. The silkworms are very spoiled. Look here, Didi. There are a few eggs also here. Rina, let us do an experiment. Really, Didi? What kind of an experiment? Let us borrow two cardboard boxes from Grandma. Then let us both place a few of these silkworm eggs in our boxes. Then we shall feed them with stomach full of mulberry leaves. Wow, Didi! These worms will be like our pets. We will also explore about their life cycle. Didi, be careful while picking up these eggs. Maya cuts a few stems of the mulberry tree very carefully and pastes them in one of the boxes. Come Rina, let us keep these eggs in each of our boxes. Didi, do you know? How many days will it take for these eggs to hatch? Hmm, now we shall ourselves observe how many days does it take for the eggs to hatch. Both the sisters place a few eggs in their respective boxes carefully. I will keep my box outside. And I shall place mine inside. Next day. Didi, did something happen in your box? Rina, it will take at least two to three weeks. Be patient. Oh, it will take two to three weeks, Grandma. Rina and Maya used to wait every day for the caterpillars to emerge out of the eggs. After two weeks, Didi, look, the eggs in my box have hatched. Look, tiny caterpillars have emerged. I should quickly go and pluck a lot of mulberry leaves. They would be hungry. But the eggs in my box have not hatched. Why did this happen? You had kept your box outside in the warmth and I had kept it inside, isn't it? Yes, Didi. Do you think the eggs need a warm atmosphere to hatch? Yes, Rina, it looks like that. The butterfly eggs also need a warm place to hatch. I shall also keep my box outside now. Let us observe what happens then. 
After two weeks, I just went and saw the caterpillars, Didi. They have finished eating all the leaves. I think we will have to feed them with some more. Both the sisters observed their boxes daily. The eggs in Maya's box had also hatched as she had kept it outside in the warmth. After about one week, Look, Rina, the caterpillars in your box have become so fat after eating so much, and the ones in my box still eat all day and night. Both the sisters start laughing. After two weeks, Look, Didi, the caterpillars in my box have become like a cocoon. I remember when in grade four we had studied about the life cycle of a butterfly. We learned that the caterpillar similarly transforms into a cocoon. Wait, Rina, let me get my science book. Look, Rina, in this picture, it shows how a silkworm makes a net around itself and transforms into a cocoon. Look, Didi, these cocoons have attached themselves to these stems. Is this another stage in their life cycle? Yes, Rina, it looks like that. Now we shall observe the caterpillars in my box to see how they transform. Both the sisters observe Maya's box carefully every now and then. After one week, Didi, Didi, look here. These caterpillars are spinning their head and releasing this thread-like thing. Yes, amazing. Let us ask Grandma, Daddy, why are these caterpillars moving like this? Children, the caterpillars are making a cocoon around themselves. And look, they are moving their head in the shape of the number 8. Is it that this thread-like thing is silk? Yes, children. Silk is woven from these threads. Wait, I shall show you one of my silk saris. Wow, Daddy, it is a beautiful sari. Children, do you know that thousands of cocoon are required to make one silk sari? It would be a difficult task to weave silk. Yes, children, these silkworms are contribute in a big way to our weaving industry. Daddy, how is silk extracted from the cocoon? Children, to procure the silk thread, thousands of cocoons are required. They are kept in the sun and boiled in water. By doing so, the silk thread can be extracted from them. What? These cocoons are boiled in water. This is not a good thing. Yes, Maya, you are right. But do you know that a new method to procuring the silk thread has been found out? What is that new method, Daddy? It is the method through which the silk worms are not harmed in the process of making silk. It is known as Ahimsa silk. Wow, that is such a nice thing. None of the silkworms should be harmed in the process of making silk. When I grow up, I will try and find out new methods of extracting silk so that the silkworms are not harmed. <laughs> Very good, children. Wow, it was an amazing experiment. We explored about the life cycle of the silkworm on our own. It would be interesting to understand how is silk woven from silk thread. Maya and Rina keep observing the cocoons in their boxes till they become a month. So friends, I hope you must have gathered information about the silkworms through this video. I do want to know like Maya, how is the silk thread further woven into a silk cloth? So, we shall meet soon friends.